Okay, let's meditate for a few minutes. Hainam pawana sagpaknam. When you close your eyes to meditate, what do you see? You see the movements of your own mind. This is something that's really essential, really important. Because our minds move around a lot, and many times you don't even notice, because we're running around too. When you're running around, you don't know who else is running around who's not running around, because everything is a big blur. It's only when you stop and try to stay still with the breath, set up that intention that this is where you're going to stay. And then you see how the mind deviates from that attention, all the other little intentions that come up, some of which are too weak to have an impact on the original intention, and others, others of which come up with a big sack and they put it over your head and they drag you off, and before you know it, you're off in another country. So you have to be really careful, really alert. On the one hand, be alert to the breath, and on the other hand, be alert to the mind. How is it fitting in with the breath? Where is it beginning to have some frayed ends, loose ends? Where is it beginning to stray? What can you do to fix it back on the breath again? When you learn how to see these things and learn how to deal with them skillfully, that means you're more in control of your own mind, and you can be trusted to go out and learn how to apply the same skills in your life and get some good results. Of course, some people don't do that. They keep their minds under firm control when they're meditating and just let everything go loose when they're outside. But at least you've got the skills, and you can learn how to use them and how to apply them. Because it's not the case that the mind causes trouble only when it's sitting here meditating. Because there's a lot more trouble when it's out there dealing with issues in the world. And so you want to be on top of it so you can sense, well, now the mind's getting out of control. Now it's going off in a direction I don't want it to. Then you learn how to pull it back. It's only when you see your mind in this way that you can actually exert some control. And when you, only when you exert some control over it can you be much more confident that you're shaping your life in a skillful direction. So if anyone asks you, what can people see when they close their eyes? They say, you can see everything that's really important, all the things that you miss when your eyes are open. Because it's seeing your own mind. That's the most important thing in life that you really want to see and understand. Once you understand the mind, then nothing else is a problem. Someone asked a while back, why is it that Buddhism privileges the mind over the body? Is the mind more important? I said, well, the mind's a bigger problem. So you have to focus on that first. When you take care of this problem, nothing else is a problem. <laughs>